And uh, I'm sure you're all very excited about Stokes Law. Again, I throw this stuff in here because it makes everybody's face turns pale. Don't worry, I won't have you do any calculations. Just know that there's a, a way to calculate how oil is dispersed in water. Maybe that's something you guys uh, deal with when you're trying to... Well, it talks about viscosity and stuff that we're not going to worry about. So what is an emulsion? Well, it can be a, a suspension of oil in water, or it can be a suspension of, of colloid colloidal solids in water, or a combination of suspended oils and colloids in water. In all cases, everything's negatively charged, right? Everything in nature is negatively charged, so the oil is going to be negatively charged also. So what if we add a, surfa a surfactant that stabilizes those emulsions, right? Everybody know what surfactants are? What's one of the most prevalent ones? If you, well, I guess people don't wash dishes anymore by hand, do they? Remember Dawn dishwashing detergent? That is a really good example. What's it, what, what is their tagline? Takes the grease out of the way or something like that. So what we're doing is we're adding this, uh, this compound that's trying to keep that oil in the water. Um, it's a, sometimes they have uh, hydrophilic, hydrophobic surfactants. Most of them are um, negatively charged. So anyway, they help keep that, that oil droplet in, in the water, which makes it very difficult for us to remove the, the oil in that emulsified form. So surfactants, in terms of trying to pull, or, or trying to pull oil out of water, not our friend at all. So there's other types of emulsions that are really uh, generated by just actually running oil through a pump and, 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 and water. And it just totally emulsifies it. Although most shear forces don't keep it, those are more easily broken than the ones that are, are uh, emulsified using uh, soaps and surfactants. I always love these little uh, characters. Does anybody uh, who's younger than 30 know who those guys are? Tweety Bird, right? And uh, who's the little guy, the guy on the right there? What was his name? Lone, Lone who? No, oh, the, the wolf down here. Coyote. Oh, Coyote. Wiley Coyote. Coyote, that's it. So a lot of you guys know how to do this. Um, we're talking about you know batch treatment. Sometimes we'll use an emulsion breaker. Sometimes we'll use acid. So we're you know trying to float the oil up, get it off, and have the uh, effluent come off the bottom. In a lot of cases, there's there's metals in there also. So you need to use a metal precipitant. So you would treat on the left hand side there with your emulsion breaker. You would get the clear water off of there. You would suck it off and put it in that second treatment tank. And then you would treat it for heavy metals. Um, you know, depending upon what it is, you would use a certain pH. Um, and then your sludge, of course, would then go through the, the, the press um, or some kind of a dewatering device. So again, I mean, this is, uh, you know, people in this business, sometimes you never know what you're gonna get. And I know that you guys know, <laughs> it can be really, uh, really tough sometimes. In particular, if there's surfactants in there that are causing you headaches. So this is what a uh, treatment would look like if you were able to look at a glass, a big, huge, you know, 10,000 gallon glass uh, beaker. That's what it would look like. You have that reg layer. That's that grayish kind of a colored uh, layer. Nice thick layer on top of oil. That's the stuff we're after, right? Uh, you know, clear water or clearish water. Always has a little bit of a yellow tint to it for some reason. And then you may have, if, there's, if it's really dirty oil, you'll have some solids on the bottom. You know, dirt and could be metal shavings, that kind of stuff. So we're looking at, at different uh, types of products here. Organics would be, you know, like the products that we have that are, are made out of uh, starch. Uh, some of the blended ones maybe include some uh, aluminum compounds and straight organic or straight inorganic. Just showing you the kind of clarity versus uh, dosage. And obviously the organic gives you the, the lowest volume 
of actual product used versus the uh, the clarity. And if you look at the organics versus the organics, again, you're going to have very similar results in terms of sludge generated. Sometimes that's not good. Sometimes when you have an inorganic, um, it can really can kind of contaminate the oil that you're trying to pull out. And that's not good. So surfactants, just a, another uh, graph showing us the turbidity versus the surfactant loading. As you can see, you know, the, as the surfactant level goes up, you need to add more coagulant to counteract the surfactant. In some cases, you have this narrowing effect where it'll only come out and, and clarify when you're in that more narrow uh, with the blue and, and the red uh, dots there. That's the that's with surfactant. The outside curve is is without. So it can give you a narrowing of, of where the the chemical, depending upon what it is, might might be effective at clarifying the water. So what can you do with that uh, sludge and Really, we're talking about oil here. Well, you can further process it, or you can solidify it and haul it off to a landfill. Are there any other other choices? Am I missing? I suppose you could burn it, right? And typically, you want to have that oil in, in the 20, 30 percent. You know, keep it with low, low solids. In this uh, depiction, we're talking about oil in the continuous phase, which means it's basically Oil that you could you could sell. So if you're going if you're going to take it to the next level, and these are the things you need to do: heat it up, you you, you add sulfuric acid, um, and possibly an oil uh, oil emulsion breaker, depending upon which which kind of uh, waste oil it is. Sometimes it takes a long time; it takes you know a day or two for it to separate. Does anybody blend or uh, use oil and had additives? You guys do some of that stuff? Okay. All right. Uh, surfactants have no effect on oil emulsions. True or false? Surfactants have no effect on oil emulsions. True or false? Correct answer. Uh, he said false. What are the two types of oil emulsions? Jerry, you might have to get another poop emoji. Nice, nice job. That's a, not a lot of people get that one. What is the average or the overall charge in an oil emulsion? Kind of a trick question, but negative. Correct. The name an emulsifying agent. There's two that we talked about. Oh. Don dishwashing detergent. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, surfactants in a more broad sense. But also pumps. Just just agitating it can emulsify it. 